And good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the morning show. It is time to wake up this morning. 6.50 on the morning show. Time with our wise guy, Matt Sellen. Good morning to you. Hello. How and what's are you? this? I'm good. What's this here about um, singing rods? Yes, we have singing something? rods and tubes. And, <laughs> and we tubes? have oscillating things and we have resonance. All kinds of cool stuff today. Okay. And, and it's kind of want to build on what we did two weeks ago. Because two weeks ago, we did... We talked about sound and the speed of sound, and we had these little things, right? Uh -huh. And we saw that if you had a, a little pipe, and this is sort of the thing you would have in a pipe organ, and a little short one made a higher noise, and a little longer one was kind of okay. a lower noise, right? And if you had a, a real long one, you Ooh, can make a very cool. low noise, and it just depends on how long you made it, uh -huh. okay, and sort of the size of it. And the reason there was a noise in these things is that when you blow the air th in through this, it kind of comes out over the top of this little slot, and hold it like this, and you get turbulence here, and you set up a standing wave inside this cavity, and the size of the cavity determines the size of the wave, and the size of the wave determines the wavelength, which tells you the frequency, okay, cool. because the speed of sound is the same. Now, what I have here are some really long pipes that we can use to make much lower uh -huh. sounds. Okay, now. So you tell me this kind of sounds like a, a dinosaur kind of sound? Well, I, you know, it's, it's, well, we'll see what it sounds we'll like see. in a second. Okay. This one is, is pretty long and it sort of is the same idea as that slide whistle and then I can make it even longer by just pulling this thing out. Okay. Now, I can't, there's no slot or mouthpiece in this thing and my lips aren't big enough to wrap around this thing. <laughs> and so we're going to have to figure out a different way to get a standing wave going in this. And I think you have. And I think we do have it because when in doubt, start a fire, I always say. When in doubt, start a fire. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to light up the Bunsen burner. And it turns out that, of course, when fire, uh, when, when the gases burn, you have hot air, the hot air rises, but you also get turbulence, and you can sort of use this to excite the standing wave okay. inside this thing. So now I'm going to attempt to climb up here without setting my shirt on fire. I like your word, uh, attempt there, Matt. We'll see well, how this goes. I'll hold the other end of your mic. How about that? Okay. There if you I, go. If I light myself on fire, throw my coffee on me. <laughs> okay. All right. So what I'm going to do now... I'm just going to lower this. You should never try this at home, by the way, because exactly. it looks a little stupid, and it is. Besides, there's flames. So now you can hear the sound. Some cool sounds, though. And if I make this thing oh, longer. So if it goes up higher, it gets even lower. It sounds kind of like Very an airplane cool. flying over. Yeah. Wait, let me do that again. That was kind of cool. Now you're just having too much fun. Having, okay, now, what okay, I want to do, for you. since even that pipe is kind of, you know, small compared uh -huh. to this pipe, so I have a giant oh, wow. big pipe here. Check this one out. And this is a real, you know, scientific instrument, actually packing tube, but anyway. <laughs> Many different uses. Yes, that. exactly. So I'm going to put this over here, and we're going to hope for the best. Oh, that's a good noise. Can you hear that? Yeah, very nice. Isn't that fantastic? That sounds okay, great. So that is a very low frequency noise. All and right, I, Matt. you know, it sounds like some kind of a big beast in the jungle. Very cool. Who Matt, knows? we are running out of time, but this is awesome. What can we expect to see a little bit later? Well, okay. So we're going to talk about resonance next because okay. that's kind of building up to breaking the glass. So we're going to do pendula and masses on springs. We're going to have a, an aluminum rod that can sing. It's a very good, talented aluminum rod. And we're going <laughs> to have nice. a, an aluminum disc that can sing. And then we're going to make the glass. Actually, you're going to see vibrations in the glass of about half an inch. You never would imagine. Okay, it's very cool. cool. All right, Matt, thank you. I think we're running over maybe a little bit on Jennifer's time, but I believe we need to go to weather. Jen.